Grain Boy is back <laughs> because today we are making oatmeal. And in my recent day of meetings, you guys have been seeing me eat like the oatmeal packets that you just put some hot water in and they're ready in a few minutes. Even though they're organic, there's still a lot of negatives about that, whether it's the chemicals, the added flavorings, or how the oats are processed. Because the oats they use in those packet oatmeals are quick oats that need to be steamed and rolled and pressed. And we know these big corporations aren't using like high quality well water to prepare the oats. And the modern tap water has fluoride, chlorine, antibiotics, chemicals, all of these things you don't want to be consuming. Especially if the rest of your diet is organic and you're only drinking really high quality water, you know, why do you want to start your day off with something filled with modern tap water? So here we have organic steel cut oats, and this is just the whole oat, aka groat, chopped into a few pieces, and you can tell that you know, these are really a grain. They have not been steam processed. So that's what we're using as the base of our oatmeal. And uh, the flavor we're gonna do today is kind of apple vanilla. So you could really do whatever you want. You can get creative with this. Uh, for the sweetener, we're using Flextrose from Frankie's Free Range Foods. This is pure glucose, or as sugar, honey maple syrup. Also has fructose in it, which is a little bit harder on the liver, but this isn't as sweet. So you could try this, you could do other stuff. We just have this today. We have a whole apple. We're gonna dice up, put it in there, stew it a little bit with the oatmeal. Of course, some salt to season it. A Little bit of vanilla extract. We have some coconut cream to make it creamier and also add a little bit of fat because even though oats have a small amount of fat and protein, you still want something to kind of slow down the digestion just a little bit, just a tiny amount of fat to balance the macronutrients. Uh, you could use macadamia nut butter, or different nut butters, but Coconut cream is the highest saturated fat and uh, also antifungal, anti-candida. And we have some apple juice here, organic, biodynamic. Just make sure if you're gonna add a juice that they don't have water as an ingredient in it because that would defy the purpose of having uh, the oats. You know, you don't wanna add any tap water with this too. We're gonna add this at some point in the recipe just to add more of that apple flavor. I guess this isn't that necessary. This is. Uh, something that might be really, really nice though and make it a little special. Yeah, so if we take a look at the, the regular apple cinnamon oatmeal, they have oats, sugar, apples, natural flavors, cinnamon, and sea salt. So basically the same thing except we're adding much higher quality ingredients. We're making sure there's no chemicals in it and uh, maybe a few culinary tips that'll make this really special. So we're starting off here guys with three cups of water that I've brought to a boil. Of course we are using high quality glass bottle mineral water. This is really the reason I'm showing you guys this recipe is to be mindful of the water source that companies use to prepare this stuff. So we have that in here. And since we already have it at a boil, we are ready to add one cup of our oats. So we got one cup of oats here, which is four servings, a little under 800 calories. So this is probably more than enough for one meal for me. Uh, but if I was you, I would make a batch of like two or three of this because you don't want to be sitting here cooking breakfast 20 minutes every morning. So if you do a few batches, you'll have it for a few days worth of breakfast. Then we add our pinch of salt. I will mention uh, we also have Himalayan pink salt now on Frankie's Syringe, meat and Frankie's Syringe foods if you guys want to try that. So we'll lower the heat to medium. Now since this is going to take 15, 20 minutes, we're going to do a little bit of prep. I mean, we don't really have anything to do besides peel and slice the apple. And the reason you want to peel an apple is because you know, you guys can see this is very colorful. That indicates a high flavonoid content, anti-nutrients, and whatever was on the skin when it was grown, it's just better to peel your apples. Now I wanna get a pretty small dice on this apple, so I'm gonna slice it kind of vertically like that, flip it over, slice it vertically again, and then we're gonna go down. Then we have nice little tiny squares of apple. So that's it, we got our apple chopped up real nice. Yeah, just make sure to kind of scrape the bottom of this to make sure the oats aren't you know, burning or sticking, which they are a little bit, so just be careful. So after about 10 minutes, you guys can see a lot of the liquid has been absorbed into the oats. We're gonna add about one cup of apple juice. So this is gonna add a bit more liquid to be absorbed. And of course, some sugar and some flavor. Okay, so now that it's hot again, we're gonna put in our diced apples. 
Now, normal oatmeal recipe, you just cook it for 15, 20 minutes, but since we want to add all this other stuff, you know, we got to do it in the middle of the cooking process. Again, just stirring, scraping the bottom, making sure this doesn't stick. I think you can do this in the slow cooker too, or, or the Instant Pot. Just throw everything in there and let it go. Might not be as good, but <laughs> a whole lot less than standing at your stove for half an hour. So we're about the 15 minute mark, and since we're using a powder dry sweetener, uh, we wanna make sure that we have enough liquid in this. So we'll add it before it's finished cooking. I don't have much of this left, so I'm gonna do about a quarter cup of the flextrose. And normally like a quarter cup of sugar would be plenty to sweeten this, but uh, as I mentioned earlier, the flextrose is not as sweet, so you might need a little more than that. All right, for our final ingredient, we're gonna finish this off with a tablespoon of coconut cream. I try to be careful with this because I actually don't like the coconut flavor, but I really do like the creaminess it adds. So if you put just enough, you don't taste that much of the coconut flavor. And as with all the ingredients, you don't really wanna add anything at the very, very end. You want the flavors to kind of melt together and the heat to extract those flavors even more. Outside of the coconut cream, that is. Probably a thousand calories total, you know, between the added apple juice and the coconut cream and stuff. The flex strokes. Still a little bit of moisture left here, but we're gonna taste the oats to see if they're finished cooking. So the oats definitely need a few more minutes. And the flavor's getting there. I think I wanna add a little bit more sugar and coconut because it's not as creamy as I like. I don't exactly taste the coconut yet, and it's, uh, it's not sweet enough. So I'll do maybe another tablespoon of the coconut cream. And then I just have like a little bit of honey left in this jar, so we'll use that as the other sweetener. You know what, bro, we might, as, we might as well go United Nations at this point. We're adding all these different sweeteners, so we'll do like a teaspoon of maple syrup too. And each sweetener lends its own flavor, so you get a little bit of the complexity from the honey, a little bit from the maple syrup, a little bit of that fruitiness from the flextrose, and I mean, if you wanted to add a little bit of sugar here too, you'll get a, a unique flavor from each one. It's been about 20 minutes. We turn the heat off. We're gonna cover this, let it sit. All right, guys, now that it's time for lunch, hopefully our oatmeal is ready. <laughs> so this is uh, definitely not something I would do if you don't have time in the morning. You know, if you actually have to work like I do, I should be at work right now, but instead we're here making oatmeal for you guys. Very creamy, looks good. Some moisture left still. Uh, but keep in mind, guys, if you let this sit for a few hours or overnight, it will definitely absorb the rest of the moisture. So hopefully this is cooked. Otherwise, we're going to pretend it's cooked because I'm done filming this video. All right, it's done, so we can do an official taste test. You guys, I'm losing my mind, honestly. I'm really losing it. What kind of crazy person wakes up in the morning, buys like $30 worth of organic ingredients, and spends an hour cooking oatmeal. Like you have to be pretty deranged, like maybe even vegan to do that. I'd rather not eat. It's very apple-y. <laughs> A lot of apples. And what I don't really like is the sweetness is separated from the oats. So you get all the honey, the maple syrup, the flextrose, you get those flavors separately from the oats, which means uh, this is gonna be much better after it sits for a few hours. So, you know, maybe not the best first thing you make it, but still pretty good. I'm still gonna eat it this morning. You get the, the chunks of fresh apple in there. It adds some moisture. Overall, 7.5 out of 10. I think, after this sits for a little bit, it's gonna be good. Definitely make a head meal. The fresh apples are so pleasant in here. It's just, you know, the groats need some time to really sit and soften up. I think, um, I think you can soak oats overnight or something. That's probably what we should have done. So someone in the comments that's probably made this a lot, let us know down below if uh, you can soak these overnight, how long to soak them for, that'll probably Soften them up or maybe even soak them in like the apple juice just to make sure it has some flavor. But guys, I gotta like honestly just find some like nasty vegan girl with just like huge, huge fucking titties. Like get her over one night, 
even if my PP doesn't work from my liver damage, if I make her this in the morning, bro, it's, it's over. It's over. It's, I'm set. You know, I'm set. So smooth sailing from there. But uh, that shows you guys where my brain is at today. So uh, before any more garbage comes out of my mouth, I want to thank you guys for joining me. You can go to frank if uh, you like to support me through any of my creative and unique businesses. We have the Flextros on Frankie's Strange Foods. We have the salts on there as well. A bunch of interesting products. But outside of that, if you guys could, as always, drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again for joining, guys. I'll see you soon. Thank you.